Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play the Darkest Dungeon. I'm your host, Brainboy20, where we last left off with this party was royally, royally wrecked. Not really, it was just that they went through a particularly trying mission, and as we are simply cycling through to get enough gold to do things like, you know, get these people's stresses down, because there are higher members. And do I also have, like, a blacksmith's thing? No, I don't. There is no town event right now. Is there anything else? Not really. I think it's just time to put a party together and continue heading out there. So Groshet is fine. Altard could use a little bit of stress reduction, because I also need to take some of these people up to a higher level. You gained a bunch of negative traits with no positives. You're still fine. Fear of mankind actually kind of hurts you, but... You got you having so many nighttime things, Carbonal. I'd actually like to keep you in the party. I'm sorry, but off guard on you is actually a good enough reason for me to send you away. But I need a good third line. Yes, yes, of course you can handle any foe. For you. For you, for you, for you. Are you better than Mugras? No, because you have the exact same thing, except he has Slice Off, and I also need to get Finale. Because I'm actually going to start sticking with the um, Finale strategy. But is there anyone here we can actually take to the third position? Hands from the Abyss sounds hilarious. Too bad he would never get it. In fact, I'd rather you have Demon's Pull. We start off with Evasive and Photomania, so I guess having... We actually could always use another Occultist, and you would be much better in the third position anyway. So, welcome aboard, Fitten. Fitten. To fight the Abyss, one must know it. And the Highwayman can disappear, because I don't want to try to waste my time. Suffer not the lame horse, nor the broken man. Koliar. Because I need a bunch of level 3s and level 4s. Altar, you actually don't stink that much. I'm still wondering what Obsessed with Sainthood does. And we're doing a short scouting mission because I actually need to limit how much I actually do today because I've got other things to deal with. But we can always go to the wild. Oh, hey, the hag reset. Oh, no, it's still there. Don't mind me, I'm blind. I'm blind. All tired, you'll take over the place for Koliar. Fitten, welcome to the party, Mugras. Heads here. Kabonal, you're actually not bad. However, I need to do a little bit of changing around to your skills, and then we'll see what money we can spend. You will get Finale to begin with. Dirk Stab is not exactly needed. I might actually replace that with Inspiring Tomb just because the stress reduction is actually really... <sighs> wasted. Fitten, you're going to get Demon's Pull instead. Carbonal. You actually have everything with the exception of Rampart. Because Rampart is in fact better than Bellow in my opinion, although occasionally shouting people to death is always funny. Altard, you actually have enough decent skills, with the exception of Revenge. Now can any of you level up your current weapons? Nope. 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 Okay, Magras. You are getting the Dark Tambourine. But guess what? You're going back into the night again. Hope you enjoy your time there. Uh, Fitten, you're actually going to get... Oh, do we not have Julian's head? Oh yeah, we have Junia's head. Kabano. I don't remember. I think because your speed... No, because your speed increases as you go into darker places. Ah, yes, but Altard gets a Berserk Mask, if we could do a Berserk Mask. We can't anymore. So you will actually get Dismas's head. Because that actually saves your... 
damage debuff. Admit it. Nah. You're slow enough. Plus, having a much higher health will prevent you from getting tuckered out. Compensating for this, you'll also get a Book of Sanity to prevent the damage. You can just stick with Barristan's head in an Aria box to prevent the stress. Fitten. With Junia's head, you get a Book of Sanity. Congratulations. And you can get an Overture box just to prevent getting hit. Let's see. Do I want to go... Yes, I actually do want to kill this, just because you'll get the damage buff for just it being nighttime, period. Okay, this is so far not a bad team comp. We have a ton of money, so what we're going to do is on the much higher tier team, we're going to start praying, but not before reducing the treatment cost a little bit further. We don't have any use for these anymore. We could theoretically upgrade the stagecoach to an insane level. But I don't feel any particular reason to do so. Just because while having an insane amount of whatever, having an insanely high like low level recruits are nice occasionally, but I do kind of like appreciate pulling up from the ground up. If that makes sense. And you can meditate. No, who else needs it? Reynolds? Can you pray? I think he has to. You fear God, don't you? Yep, you know, so you have to wait. Pippin, you're enlightened. So we at least have enough space for you. And so far, the most expensive portion of his journey is done. I haven't upgraded this once. Well, I haven't upgraded this recently. But before I even consider buying anything rare from here, I'm going to need the Merchant's Network. Because I would definitely take the Spiked Collar. I yeah, know, the Spiked Collar is fantastic. Alright, gentlemen. To your next mission, we're going to scout through the wilds. I'm specifically choosing this just because Beast Hater and Wild Tactician popping up will basically make him insta-give anything in there. Onwards to our provisions. It's a short mission. You're only gonna get the food, like, minimum food allowed. And a single shovel. Let's go! If you live for risk and darkness, by all means, bring a few torches. <sighs> Uh, the one downside of not bringing torches is that I can't go and fight the Shambler. I believe the Shambler is not a fight I'd like to experience right now with this party. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Hey! This doesn't bode well. And I'm just gonna let this naturally drop. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. I don't know why I don't just snuff it out to begin with. I would have gotten a little bit more gold, but oh well. So the speed buffs are now going full out. He's doing as much damage as he possibly can. Let me buy. I'm famished. It doesn't prevent it. Oh, wait. You can take the stress. Quit being like scaredy cats. Oh no. Deal with it. Is anyone checking behind us? It's as if you could actually get attacked here. You can't. Trust me. I know. I'm avoiding saying anything because I know. Well, you get a map at least. And, oh god, we have another obstacle. No. <laughs> we'll avoid this sort of thing. Well, you guys are going to get a ton of damage and stress. But that can't be avoided. Anyway, 
Today's episode is going to be a short one. It's basically going to be just this mission, so if no one's particularly interested in seeing me just do another exploration mission, boo bloody who, that's what I'm just doing for right now. And that is primarily because I am a little bit busy. I also forgot finale. I also forgot to equip your abilities. So I bought all that stuff for no reason. Oh joy. Can I change your abilities outside of combat? Yeah, no. I, I know you can't, I, like, I don't know why I thought, hey, I can do this in combat, right? 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 Wrong. Why would they let you do that? That just speaks of trouble. The blanket fire is definitely something I don't feel like dealing with, but oh well, it's just something that's going to happen now. I'm going to guard Pippin. No wait, he's not Pippin, he's Fontenelle? Fitten. He's Fitten, Pippin's brother. And of course he's trying to Jester, because why couldn't the Jester survive? I have no idea. Now we can intimidate, but I think it'd be much better just to try to insta-kill one of them. And by try, I mean succeed. Eradicated. I mean, with those damage rolls, there's basically no choice but to succeed. And if he didn't, I'd be honestly impressed. There we go, that's the healing I was looking for. Oh no, you got bleed. I wonder, does he stand like that just because he's supposed to be taking damage? And is that actually armor, or that's that his chest? Either one is terrifying. Wow, you do not like our jester. Obliterated. And the jester is going to be on death's door immediately. Yay. Um, oh, you can't eat. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. You can't eat food in combat, but it does not hurt in the slightest. Unless you resist the bleed. Hey, buddy. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. All right. Can we change out your skills before I forget? You're taking Finale and you're taking Inspiring too. For the sole purpose of you're going to go to the front. Because you're going to jump back and then the entire party's going to be screwed up just slightly. Ditching hands from the abyss for demon's pull. You don't change any of your skills, and you don't change any of your skills. Move on, Jester! You can take a little food. Just a little. Just a tad. Yes. Due to the start of college, this type of like daily recording I'm not able to do. I usually now am doing batch recordings on the weekends. And as such, what if they run out during the week? Well, I can't really do much about that. Because I just flat out don't have time for it anymore. Just because my recording time is very slim. Don't know what you're expecting. You're not supposed to be doing that. Nature stuff. herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Well, I spent a lot of money on Margaras. So I guess Margas. Not Margaras, Margus. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Let me buy, I am famished. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Well. door. What happens because of affliction? Your affliction has dropped your dodge by a ridiculous amount. Okay, you're probably gonna die now. Well, at least that fixes a lot of problems I'd have to take. I just don't want a TPK next time we fight. I'm just gonna go up and then down. Eat some food to at least recover a little bit. Anyway, and it'll be a little bit of time before we'll get access to 
about a new video series, just because I want to finish this, or Battle of the Gothic, or something else, really. It's entirely because I'm being stonewalled by this, and I'm having so many issues anyway. No trap to Sar. We'll just put it on Margaret's. Mind that such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. I don't know what you're talking about. It was a 50-50. I was either going to get it or I wasn't. Uh, is there anything else that's also going on? Nothing I can think of. Margus! You'd be good if I could... Oh. Oh yeah, you stun lock. Um... Oh diddly dum. Margus is gonna die. Probably. What two jesters in the grave. Grievous injury. Palpable fear. Wow, I'm surprised. And you're also hitting the weakest members of the party. I'm not surprised. I mean, you could try to intimidate. Well, intimidate will kill these two. So take it. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Like, just take it, please. Hooray! You actually successfully healed him. I don't mind. You actually can kill someone. As the fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. Like, even retribution. Because if you're Marx, he'll probably hit you. Oh no? Another one falls. We can't even do what we had originally intended. As victories mount, so too will resistance. What resistance? Oh gosh, Altard, why? All right, what's the battle here? We're gonna continue adventuring. Cause I just wanna grab whatever loot's hidden in this, and then we're leaving. Cause this can only go so well. With this device glorious. All right, we're done. I'm not willing to listen to masochistic talk. Every cleared path and charted route reduces the isolation of our troubled estate. No particular level ups. You gain eagle eye, but you're slow draw. Dipsomania. Hard skinned. That actually makes you helpful. In most cases. And light sensitive doesn't matter because this is going to be basically all dark run party. Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. This party, we're going to have to call the week. But we'll call the week next time. Oh, actually, they, oh, they light up, light this stuff up now. Interesting. Increasing damage and melee skills, but less common in healing skills. That's just probably going to be stock standard, but we'll unequip and deal with all this next time. Until then, hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been BrainBoy20 with Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon, and I am signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe. It helps out a great deal, and I hope to see you all next time.